So, <laughs> dear colleagues, my name is Victoria Kalisnik. Let me present to your attention a study features of telemedicine technology for monitoring of patients with atopic dermatitis, performed by a group of authors from three Kharkiv universities, which I represent as a speaker. I would like to thank the respected authors for their trust. So, let's go. The COVID-19 pandemic has caused a huge motivation for the telemedicine technologies developing and, first of all, teleconsultation for patients' examination and making some diagnosis remotely, as well as monitoring the effectiveness of treatment over time. Along with the new capabilities of modern telemedicine technologies, nevertheless questions arise related to ensuring their identity on, of conditions and hardware for recordings and transforming data, and accordingly the repeatability of survey results. The distinctive features of telemedicine video information is rather large arrays of digital data conditioned by their required volumes and quality. The existing, existing methods of optimizing telemedicine visualization provide for both the creation of new algorithms for processing and transferring video information and the optimization of their volume through the use of more informative methods for recording and analyzing this video information. These methods include the methodology for improving the primary data of telemedicine visualization and the algorithm for their process. This study provides a monitoring example of skin video images to condition control of patients diagnosed with atopic dermatitis. It is advisable to use the telemedicine services when diagnosing and monitoring the skin conditions of patients with atopic dermatitis at different stages of the disease. In most cases, it is sufficient to take into account only the visual characteristics of the skin condition. However, when estimation the color components of skin areas in the HSV system, the indicators such as lighting and characteristic of the dermatoscopy model can significantly affect the analyzed data. Therefore, it seems appropriate to introduce such indicators in the end to the shooting conditions as the relative values of histogram features, image contrast, and the value of the second local maximum of the image intensity histogram. Thus, figure 1a and 1b show photographs of human skin fragments in normal conditions and in the acute stage of atopic dermatitis, respectively. Magnification 20 times. Figures 2a and 2b show histograms of the corresponding images of the skin. Determination of contrast was performed at the difference between the maximum and minimum intensity levels on the histogram at a level of 5% of the value of the global extreme. The efficiency of solving problems of monitoring the stage of object with random properties as a rule depends on the, on the correct choice of the most informative system of features that are sensitive to change in the characteristic of the object. Any control formally implements, uh, implements a testing procedure, the effectiveness of the result of which is determined by reliability the probability of making the right decision. This approach is complicated by the fact that the uncertainty of the properties of the research object the task of selecting informative parameters becomes problematic, especially if the metrological support of information transferring in the structure of the control system is difficult, which often occurs during medical diagnostics. 
A feature of medical diagnostic data is a high individual anatomical and physical variability of patients and the absence of, in fact, actual standards of the norm and specific pathological conditions at different stage of diseases. The lack of andrological scales of diagnostic features necessary for comparing diagnostic parameters and the clearly defined criteria for the norm often doesn't allow to achieve the required diagnostic reliability and to achieve a decrease in error during implementation. The choice of the op optimal according to the criterion of maximum reliability system of information features is a classical problem of statistical synthesis under the condition of a prior uncertainty. The ranking of the features according to the information information content is carried out according to the value of the control reliability indicator or the error probability. Other authors have carried out studies to estimate the possibility of using criteria and models of parametric recognition discrimination when comparing the diagnosis capabilities of the image contrast indicators and the value of the second after the global of the histogram. In this experiment, the five informative parameters X were used in the calculations to determine the diagnostic significance for the parameters for the detection of atopic dermatitis at the acute stage. These informative parameters are displayed in accident order of numbering. X1, color tone of the skin area, in the HSV system, X2, color saturation of the skin area in the HSV system, X3, color intensity, X4, contrast of the fragment of the skin image, and the value of the largest local in relation to the global maximum in percent. These indicators were measured according to the data of digital dermatoscopy using a handheld digital dermatoscope UM039 camera with a 5 megapixel video sensor and 24 magnification. Patients were divided into two groups with acute atopic dermatitis and conditional norm control group. In the analysis, the linear discrimination model was used. The main idea to use discriminant anal analysis is to determine if population differ in the mean of any variable of linear combination of variables, and then use these variables to predict for new members to particular group belonging. For telemedicine diagnostic, this means to which group of diagnosis features the result of this test can be attributed and what it is contribution to the final diagnosis. The generally accepted methods of statistical synthesis on the condition of a prior uncertainty of the input parameters, the selection and ranking of the analyzed parameters is performed in accordance with their significance in relation to the given functional characteristics of the object under study. In this case, the probability of making an optimal decision is estimated by the values of quality and reliability indicators of the probability of errors. To build a linear discrimination model of diagnostic parameters for telemedicine diagnostic, the discriminant analysis method was chosen as the basic model. In the case of two states of the object, norm and deviation from the norm, is characterized by conditional probability distribution densities, which is defined as this formula. In this mean, uh, the means and variance of x for this condition, accordingly for normal Gaussian dis distributions, and uh, this formula is probability of a decision error in the form of object states is determined 
like this for MOS for variance through the probability integral uh, by formula one, where uh, formula two is the mean and standard deviation include in equation two, respectively, are determined by the formulas below, where m is the number of measurement of the studied indicator. This is result, results of experiment where uh, the estimation of the indicators influence of color characteristics and histogram features of skin whereas in normal conditions and in the acute stage of atopic dermatitis. The result of discriminant analysis when estimation the influence of the main visual, color, and histogram characteristics of image of skin areas of patients in these groups are given the probability of error are uh, equal 0 0.14. Ralph shows the increase in the normalized Euclidean distance when adding parameters, indicators of polar characteristics and histogram features to the discrimination model in the control of atopic dermatitis in the acute stage with the norm uh, with a five dimension of space of informative parameters. The graphs uh, of the increase in the corresponding normalized Euclidean distance when adding parameters to the dis discrimination model and the change in the probability of making a diagnostic decision error when controlling atopic dermatitis in the acute stage with the norm are shown in the figure three and figure four respectively. This is graph of the decrease in the error of making a diagnostic decision when adding parameters, indicator of color characteristics and histogram features to the discrimination model when control atopic dermatitis in the acute stage with a norm or five dimension of space of informative parameters. It follows from this graph that the greatest contribution of the increase in the normalized Euclidean distance and accordingly of the decrease in the probability of error is made by the indicators of change in the color tone of skin, reducing the probability of error to 0 0.27, and then changing the saturation indicator, reducing the probability of error to 0 0.2. Of the features determined from the image intensity histogram, the contrast index, in fact, the white of image intensity histogram, plays a significant role, reducing the error probability by 0 0.04 to 0 0.16 at once. The value of the fifth indicator, the largest local relatively to the global maximum, is percentage terms reduce the error probability to an additional 0.14. Estimation of total influence of color characteristic and histogram features of skin areas in normal conditions and in the acute stage of atopic dermatitis when they added to the total indicator obtained from the analysis of blood serum. This graph, uh, graph uh, shows the increase in the normalized equilibrium distance when adding parameters to the data of digital dermatoscopy of the skin, power characteristics in the HSV system, and indicators of the intensity histogram in the discrimination model in the control of atopic dermatitis in the acute stage with the norm, uh, when uh, six dimension of the space of informative parameters, the first parameters takes into, into account the integral contribution of immunological data. 
This diagram of the error of decrease of making a diagnostic decision when adding parameters to the data of digital dermatoscopy with the scheme or characteristic of HS3 system and indicators of the intensity histogram. In the discrimination model, in the control of atopic dermatitis in the acute stage with the norm. Diagnosis of atopic dermatitis only by visual characteristics of the skin, digital dermatoscopy data, color, and histogram indicators, allow monitoring this pathology with an error probability up to 0.14. This allows using the digital dermatoscopy method independently for express diagnostics of atopic dermatitis without waiting for the data of immunological studies or blood serum. Of the features de determined from the image intensity histogram, the contrast index, in fact, it is the white of the image intensity histogram, plays a, is a significant role reducing the error probability by 0.04 at once. The value of the largest local reduces the error probability to 0.14 additionally. Despite the fact that the relative histogram characteristic as contact and the presence of extrema are quite invariant to lighting conditions, they are significantly affected by the choice of the area of the analyzed skin area, especially the presence and magnitude of local maxima of the histogram. Conclusions. The use of indicator invariant to conditions of video choosing for the digital video information analysis, such as the relative values of histogram features, the image contrast at the magnitude of the second local maximum of the image intensity histogram with the linear discrimination model made it possible to significantly improve the quality of telemedicine information analysis without significant increase in its volume. The authors have shown the effectiveness of this approach with the example of the analysis of telemedicine video information when monitoring the condition of the patient's skin for the diagnosis of atopic dermatitis. However, it is obvious that this method can find application in the analysis of video images of any diagnosis video information, which will significantly improve the quality of telemedicine services. So thank you very much for your attention. I'm finished. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your very, very interesting paper. And Thank I'm sure much. behind this paper, there is a, a huge research work. Thank you. Dear colleagues, much. do you have some questions? May I? Professor. Well, uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, our Ukrainian colleagues for such an interesting uh, presentation. Uh, I'm not very familiar with the field, uh, with only with some uh, aspects. As I uh, noticed from your presentation, you presented as uh, invariant uh, to illumination conditions. I am correct? Uh, invariant. Yes. And uh, my, my question would be, is a simple logic. Uh, um, very much, uh, it depends on the illumination conditions because it will, uh, let's say it will be a, a dark uh, video, uh, not too much uh, to, to do with uh, playing with the uh, properties of the image. Uh, are you standardizing in a way or, or, or not the illumination condition? Because in my opinion, it might be quite, quite uh, important uh, in this uh, uh, quite complex task of, of uh, tele-diagnostics. Uh, yes, um, uh, I, I think uh, what um, uh, do you mean? Uh, yes, I said about uh, the uh, difficult diagnosis without um, really normal uh, standards for this uh, dimension. And uh, really, it is um, um, more experimental data. Uh, but um, uh, a 
a great uh, number of measurements uh, showed uh, the uh, effectiveness of this dimension. And uh, we uh, result real um, data, uh, a real diagnostic uh, decision. And uh, we um, have to continue our experimental researches, uh, our studies, and uh, we hope to uh, obtain uh, more effectiveness results in the future. Okay, good, good luck. Thank you. Thank you very much for you. Excuse uh, me. Thank you, Professor Lepershvitsa. Uh, may I uh, say something? I work uh, some years ago on the field. And to, to avoid the problem with the illumination, we used a sort of um, um, a box applied on the area. And this box contained also a light source which provided us um, collimated light. And so we had a quite uniform field of light. You can try this. Maybe uh, it will help you. Because uh -huh. this camera, which uh, takes images, can be accompanied by this source and uh, the box which close everything. Um, we have some work in this field. Uh, um, our, after publication, we can see a list of uh, our publication where uh, these questions um, are detailed, right? And um, you can see in these works uh, about this. And we will glad to see your questions, maybe uh, we, we have uh, our uh, addresses and we, uh, we will get to our questions for us. Thank you. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, anytime I shall read with very uh, great attention your paper, it, mean that it is very, very interesting. And I shall Thank you, send you what I learned during our experiments. Maybe it will be helpful. <laughs>